Hello guys. Early today, Jackson today, the former aide to good luck, Jonathan, the former president of Nigeria, is a independent journalist. Hmm. He reviewed this on his official S uh, handle that Justice Binta Inyako is currently fighting with the Nigerian judiciary and the Nigerian government as they continue to force Namdekanu's case on her. So this is just like, okay, since you people do not want, uh, want me to be free from this Mazin Namdekanu's case, I will give him his freedom. You understand? He said, Namdekanu is about to get his freedom as Justice Binta Inyako of the Federal High Court Abuja have vowed to release him if the Nigerian government and the judiciary continue to force the case on her. Well, you see life, this is life for you. Uh, she does not have choice rather than to continue with the case. You see, when they tell people, say, if you know your word, stand for it, nobody will push you around. That is how it is. You get it. But when you don't they compromise, they want to make use of you because you open your hands for them. And that is exactly what is happening. Now, according to sources, they said uh, this judge, Justice uh, Inyako, do not want to go on with this Mazinam Dekanu's case, as even his family members have advised her to withdraw. She had one time even revealed to somebody that the federal government of Nigeria had no proof against Nam de Kano. So you see, that is the reason why the case is going up and down. They are running around the circle, knowing what to do, but they are not doing it. All those ones are just delay tactics. Maybe just uh, the, this government still wants to hand over the case to another president because they know what they want to do to him, they don't have any proof. So all these things they are doing now, he just to delay him. And it's just intimidation against him and Indigo, you understand? Now that the federal government of Nigeria is getting pressure internationally concerning him, talking about his human rights or whatever, when you see what is playing out, you understand that even the UK government, they are all complicit in this matter. It's even the US that is even put, putting pressure on Nigerian government to get him released based on Namdekano gets a foreign lawyer who have also contacted uh, human rights organizations who fight for people's uh, rights, you know, and all that. So now Nigerian government is really, you know, getting uh, too much pressure on this case. And being Tainyako, I've seen it that if I do this case, it not gonna be a good thing for me. Maybe tomorrow she don't they think of tomorrow as they don't they see how they think they be and all that. But you see, Nigerian government is letting her to know that uh, she's the only one that can handle the case because all the judges in Nigeria they have refused when she formally withdrew from this case. It was like a God's doing, you know, to her. But she never knew that. Is going to come back again. And this is where the problem is. This one is like, I've already withdrawn from this case. No need. Assign the case to another person. But the truth is that, not that they did not try other judges before they reassigned the case back to her. People do not want to handle the case. And based on how Nigerians are really talking about the way Nigerian judges, you know, are going about case and all that, it's not a good name. So people just still want to maintain their little space where they are. You understand? So they don't want to go on with Mazen Namdekanu's case. Don't also forget that uh, Justice Tayako is the third judge now in this case. Two persons don't first withdraw before her. And now they are trying to, or they, they are resigning the case to her. And she is refusing. You understand? According to this journalist, he said Justice Tayako said, if the, the government of Nigeria really want her to go on in this case, maybe 
This time around, she's going to stand, you know, at the right path by releasing Mazena and Bekano. And nothing happens. And if she do that, ah, she will write her name with a goody pen. Because people will remember her for standing for the truth. Not be safe for anything. You understand? Not do one because you want to please anybody. Not that you want to please the ego people or you want to please Nambi Kano or you want to please the federal government. Just do the right thing. The question is, this man, what crime has he committed? And the crime they said he committed, the Nigerian constitution, is it, is it, is it, is it against it? Okay, what about the court ruling that said Nigerian government, you know, go against is a fundamental human right and all that and they need to pay him compensation for all that abuses and all that all those ones they don't trash and come out then we'll now talk about the discharge and acquitted that took place on 20 on october 13th 2022 they understand what about those all those judgments why did they trash them so you see if you want to write your name in the, with a golden pen you have to stand for the truth. And the ge another generation is the world, the history. History will remember you. You understand? So if Joseph Senyako have decided to do the needful, why? She should go ahead and do it. You know, say, I don't like this thing when Nigerians, they talk, say, other than I die. If you sleep, you die in a day too. If you see, stand, you can't stick by, not the same thing. So if you talk true, you go by. If you lie, you go by. So why not choose the other one? You say the truth. You understand? Because last, last, everybody go work out code like that. Well, my people, at the drop down for you, as you can see, this case is getting more interesting. Uh, kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.